My name is Daydream and today I'm going to be doing a six hour readathon. I have previously done one for three hours, so now I'm going to be doubling that time and see how much I can read for. I will be doing a few check-ins throughout to give my updates on my books and how much progress I've made with them, and I will have a six hour timer to keep track of how long I read for, which I will pause whenever I do a check-in. A big reason I've been doing this is because one book that I've been struggling to get through, which is 13 by Steve Cavana. I'm really not sure how to pronounce his last name. I am currently exactly on page 300, so a little over halfway. And I've been checking the reviews for this book and so many people have given it five stars, which makes me a little sad because I've been really struggling to read it lately. And I'm hoping that by doing this readathon, I'll be able to finish it. I also didn't realize that it was the fourth in the series when I picked up the book, which might be part of the reason that I've been struggling to read it, but I really want to finish it. And I think I'm finally getting to the part where it's getting good. Basically, the book is about a lawyer named Eddie Flynn, who used to be a crook who's trying to defend a celebrity who has been charged for the murder of his wife and bodyguard. However, the twist is that a murderer psychopath named Joshua Kane has been put on the jury. And it's really clever. I've just been struggling to read it. But that's not the only book I'm going to be reading. I have three book options available and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to read all three. It's just so I have a good variety. I'm also going to be reading Percy Jackson, The Titan's Curse, which is the third book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I'm hoping that if you guys have been on my channel before, you'll know what Percy Jackson is. And I hope I don't have to explain it. I'm currently on page 138 in this book. So maybe I'll get through a good chunk. I don't know if I'll finish it. The third and final book I'll be getting into is Five Survive by Holly Jackson. I'm a huge fan of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, a trilogy which she also wrote, and I'm hoping to see if I like her other writing. I started this a few days ago, but I only read the first chapter, so I really have no idea what it's about. Just from the short summary, or description in the middle. I know that it's about a girl named Red who is with six of her friends when an accident happens in their RV and someone basically wants them dead. But I'm not even to that part yet. Just the first chapter introduces most of the characters and shows you that Red has big focusing problems. But I'm hoping to get through a good section tonight. So we have two mystery books and one fantasy book. Let's get into the readathon. Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm a little over an hour in. I just have to say, I'm really enjoying this book. I've been reading 13 the entire time, and I think I've finally gotten the chance to actually get into it. It's been so good. It's a really good lawyer, murder type book. And I'm really liking Eddie Flynn so far, who's the protagonist. I am currently on page 351. There's like 481 pages or something, but right now I'm really into it and I can't wait to read for the next five hours. I'm switching up playlists and I'm also switching up reading spots. Hanging out at the chair now.
to stop real quick because of how pretty this looks. <laughs> just finished this book and it was something else. I want to rate it like 4.5 stars and it would be 5 stars but I just had such a terrible beginning to it. I feel like I can't rate it 5 stars which is sad. It was full up so much more than I thought it would be and I am shocked. If you're into mystery, if you're into thriller, if you're into any lawyer court type book, highly recommend and i'm gonna check out the rest of the series i want to come back and i want to reread this book and see what i missed because um that's what you do when there's a bunch of twists in a book i'm three hours and 17 minutes in we are one book into the readathon and halfway done i have read officially 188 pages so far in three hours which isn't too bad. Now I'm going to start on the Titan's Curse. Okay, so I've taken a quick break. I've changed into some pajama pants because I just don't want to keep my book shirt. I'm changing books, changing playlists, and I'm changing spots to the ground. and 41 minutes in. I have like an hour and 20 minutes left and I am very very tired so I think I'm gonna take a quick break and get back to reading in a minute. But before that I want to give a quick update on Percy Jackson. I'm on page 220 really enjoying it so far. Very different from the very first book I read. Some big things happened to say the least, and I've heard a bit of stuff, 
maybe a few spoilers about the series. So I met a character that I got really excited for that I probably shouldn't have known about. So I'm really excited to keep reading the book. Ready to start with a new reading spot playlist. since I had started them both, but I finished 13 and Percy Jackson, The Titan's Curse. I think Percy Jackson was a solid four stars for me. I really liked it. I think I enjoyed it about the same amount as some of the previous books, though maybe a little bit more. It was pretty good and also a lot of emotions throughout that book, but yeah, it was pretty good. I didn't start Five Survive. I plan to do that tomorrow or maybe some other time. It's around like 3 a.m. So I should probably get some sleep. But I'm happy because I did it for the full six hours. With a few breaks, I noticed that my timer kept dying. So it's a bit hard to watch it all the time. And I wanted to keep it up there, but I had to plug it in. So I had to move it. I read a total of 357 pages, so I'm pretty proud of that. And the most important thing was is that I got through 13, which was the book that I was struggling to finish. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you watch my future readathons because I am planning to do more that and many other reading challenges, and I want to show you all of the books and give my recommendations. Let me know if you've read any of the books I mentioned in this video, and let me know what you thought about them. See you next time!